Obama delivered a speech uh, on uh, supposed changes to the way NSA conducts its activities. Changes, well, they're not changes anybody can believe in. I wrote about Obama's address before he delivered it. I'll have another article coming on uh, Sunday, and I call it Obama Defends the Indefensible. He addressed sweeping NSA mass surveillance. He defended the worst of police state lawlessness. He believes privacy, invasion, intrusiveness should comfort us. He lied, claiming it makes us safer. How does destroying civil liberties protect them? How does violating core Bill of Rights protections do it? How does trashing all rule of law principles? How does turning America into a police state? How do sweeping surveillance practices, greater, greater than anything before possible, do anything to make America safer? How does letting NSA operate as a power unto itself? The NSA, it goes back many, many years, goes back to the 1950s. It's gotten progressively worse as technology improved. So way back, it was bad, but nothing compared to what it is now. But especially post 9-11, with, with the great technology that gets improved constantly all the time, it makes the power of the NSA almost unstoppable. When Obama says he wants to rein in the NSA, he's lying. NSA has a motto, or you could call it a mandate, and I'll quote it. I'll quote what its director, Keith Alexander, says. Quote, get it all, unquote. In other words, NSA wants the ability and the right to spy on everybody, every place, all the time, with no restraints and no law stopping them. Well, Obama represents a government that, that does this. He supported this kind of an activity for five years in office. His predecessors, predecessors supported it. The apparatus of U.S. government supports it. Can anybody believe that Obama now is going to go against all of this and reverse course and change everything, or at least change enough to matter? Well, the answer in capital letters is N-O. There won't be anything changing. Business as usual will continue. The worst of business as usual will continue. Obama has a history of lying. His word isn't his bond. He's a serial liar. He literally has broken every major pledge he made. I've documented it in one article after another. Can anybody believe that what he said yesterday can be believed, that he'll actually follow through with, I must say, the rhetoric with very little substance behind it, but the changes that he promised, without really talking about substance and changes, except in general terms. Nothing hard and fast. This is the way it was. This is the way it will be, A, B, C, D, E, and so on. None of that. Again, I repeat, business as usual will continue. Obama continued his tradition of serial lying. Will the American people finally awaken to this and do something about it? Americans react very slowly. The only thing good I see from the public is Obama's approval rating is down to 39%. That's what the latest Gallup tracking poll shows him that. It's just about his all-time low. I think it's one point above it. Will it continue to go lower? We'll have to wait and see. But the issue isn't what people feel about Obama. It's what they do about it. And I'll make a comment in my article that I'm writing. It's about time that people display their feelings by going out en masse in the streets and showing it. Unless they do that, then the worst of lawless practices will continue. They include mass surveillance. They include lots more than that. And Obama is the front man who's leading this. He's literally leading America on a fast track toward full-blown tyranny, and only mass activism can stop it. It hasn't happened so far. Will it happen again? We can only wait and see and hope. Maybe it will, but certainly not so far.